the energy of betrayal this is an energy that can sit inside of you through a direct misfeasance that has been felt by you either through those before you in you or through you in you so put simply you're either carrying the energy of betrayal from that which you experienced in this present lifetime that you're aware of or that which you are experiencing because that is what your ancestors have carried within them the very very common wound of betrayal is that which we will commonly experience as the mother wound it will manifest as the mother wound and it even manifests as being abandoned by fathers or the masculine not being able to step into their divine masculine and so there would have been promiscuity there would have been an association of what it means to be masculine as somehow conquering as many women of the opposite sex as possible or killing or slaughtering any accomplishments were considered as being masculine then so folks our ancestors as well as us would have experienced an energy of betrayal now this energy of betrayal sits and manifests and festers and feeds into everything else leading us to doubt ourselves leading us at the very very basic level having this heaviness a sort of feeling that you just feel and you just know that there is a certain feeling but you can't put a finger on it you might put it down to low self esteem you might put it down to a psychic attack or to something that just doesn't feel right to you and you'll only be able to source it when you know when you retrace the steps into at what point during the day did i get this feeling when did this feeling start to come up and you'll notice that someone might have said something to you or something might have happened and it triggered this kind of icky feeling but you don't know how to name this feeling you don't know what this feeling comes from folks and for some of you this feeling is the energy of betrayal that we carry inside of us and that we have carried not just this lifetime but lifetimes and eons that our ancestors too had carried betrayal can take so many forms now one example that i'm going to give to you we feel betrayed when we are at our most vulnerable and we are with other people and we build relationships we build trust and little is it then known that those that we trust then go and betray that trust they can betray that trust starting in so many ways so one of the ways would be our very first caregivers we trusted them to reflect back to us our true essence our true story and they may have imposed on to us their own story and we believed it to be ours and they may not even have intended it but they just passed it on we know about it because you've become aware you've become aware of generational trauma you've become aware of how things impact you that may not be what you are now when it comes to this energy of betrayal that energy of betrayal folks sits at the very root of us now if you are carrying this energy of betrayal it can manifest in so many different ways now one of the ways in which it manifests is that you become very controlling and even manipulative perhaps not intentionally but that act of controlling 
is you're trying to control the possibility of becoming betrayed again. So this might mean if it's a relationship sense, you will not form healthy relationships with healthy individuals and you'd rather go for the broken individuals because it's something that you feel will not betray you. Yeah. So wherever you feel safe. Secondly, when you know someone might leave you, someone is about to do something, someone is about to catch you out, you will do something that will make it difficult for them to leave you. Emotional blackmail, you know, there are so many different things that we can do. But it is that desperate little child or even just maybe not even you as your inner child, but it could be the child in your parent. It could be the inner spirit in one of your ancestors who was ruthlessly betrayed, maybe in business. Right? And you can get a clue about where the energy of betrayal comes from in your heritage, in your family. You will find that if that is happening, there might have been situations where someone might have cheated somebody in your family in business. They may have lost things, lost resources. There may be extramarital affairs. There may be wherever there'll be different aspects of betrayal existing and they'll be in different ways. Now, if you yourself didn't experience this, but you felt the energy of this at the same time, if you have then experienced a spiritual awakening, but you're unable to trust your intuition, you're unable to really trust what you're getting. Yeah. That same energy comes up there because again, we fear that which we will be enamored or fall in love with or become involved with even in bhakti will leave us, will betray us, yeah, will betray us. So we almost self-sabotage. So that energy of betrayal, unless it is transmuted, unless you become aware of it, unless it is healed, it will keep playing this everywhere, in every aspect of your life. There will be that. You will want to second guess other people. You'll want to protect yourself in every way. You'll want to make sure that you know people really well. Right? And you may not let all your cards out. You won't show people everything about you. You won't feel comfortable. And then this, if you're awakening, if you're in your spiritual awakening and Kundalini awakening stands as a canker. It stands in the way of you becoming then authentic. And this energy of betrayal can then sit inside of us as a blockage and it can be the very thing that is keeping us in stagnation. Yeah, because we don't trust in the next step. We don't even trust that we're going to get through to the next step and we don't even trust. And this is where it might even manifest as imposter syndrome. It will manifest in so many ways, folks, so many ways. But essentially, it is that fear of being betrayed. Yeah. Now, taking this further, who is being betrayed? It is not you. It is not me. It is the body consciousness that is experiences this energy of betrayal that then goes and sits in our energetic body, in our astral body. And then it then becomes part of our consciousness. But it doesn't become us. That's the thing. Because we are still outside of that too. We are in it, but we are outside of it. So when you can work out, again, remember folks, you cannot work or bypass this energy. In which is why so many of us will be going through so many different types of healings. We'll be going to so many different places. We'll be doing so many different sadhanas and meditations and all sorts. Right. And yet there'll be that kind of feeling, that icky feeling that still remains. 
there's no trust in providence and even when there is trust in providence there will always this this danger lurking in the background especially if you were in an unsafe environment to grow up in and even if you were not your parents might be carrying something from their ancestors don't forget the amount of wars and famine and poverty and so many various conditions that our ancestors would have gone through our times are very different now well it's a different hue and shade but we still struggle with the very same things folks right so when you're going through that folks please look into this and ask yourself could i be carrying the energy of betrayal inside of me am i myself are we betraying because remember as long as we we hold this energy of betrayal we too will be the betrayer we will betray ourselves in it all of the time we won't want to be ourselves we won't want to celebrate life we will shy away from it we'd rather find a way of fitting in and some of us on the other hand with this energy of betrayal will want to be louder than loud you'll want to be all there and you'll want to be the most important thing in the world you will want to be the one that's controlling you'll find a way of even gaslighting you know that's what they say but if you look at it as you're simply carrying this energy and that this is the way that you're coping with it you're trying to protect yourself but folks your spiritual awakening is doing exactly that fall back into your spiritual awakening let it give you the levity so that you can just let yourself completely relax loosen up not have this fear that i'm going to fall i'm going to be betrayed again it's so i know it's so easy to say this when you've gone through real betrayal right because some of you will have your wounds that are still very fresh some of you will have that feeling and some of you will have experienced you will have experienced ruthless betrayal you would have been betrayed by say your parents your caregivers maybe not that maybe relationships maybe you were cheated on right maybe some of you are experiencing betrayal in so so many different ways such as even you those that love you the most and you think that you know that they really have your best interests in their heart but folks they too are coping with something they too are you know fighting something in this but it's not for you to go and make amends for them it's for you to make amends for yourself first and then the rest can follow but if you can switch back into that part of you that fully trusts fully trusts in providence fully trusts in your connection to all that is as being real all of the messages you receive everything that you're experiencing it's all real well it's all real in as far as our connection to our body consciousness is folks right stop doubting yourself the energy of betrayal is like a disease that eats and eats at us inside of us and before we know it it destroys so much so much folks so let us take heed and see look how far you have come and spiritual awakening folks as long as you're already there it's never going to betray you the universe god divinity bhakti mata whatever names you want to give to all that is right will never never let you down because all that is is who you are and you can never let yourself down creation folks existence it's all there this game this leela that we are in the energy of betrayal if you like 
it's a betrayal that never really happened. It happened because we experienced that, but we are not the experience. We're not the experience. Go back and have a look at your timelines. Assess that icky feeling. Could it be the energy of betrayal? Do you have issues around survival? Examine your behavior. You might say, well, no, I, you know, I trust in providence, abundance, and I trust in my intuition. Yet there'll be something there that might trigger you. Even when we are feeling triggered, it's leading to something else. It's actually telling us something else. So it's that something else that we can get hold of when we are aware, when we sit in our meditative self. So, so, so much love. May you be free of every betrayal.